Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Python programming video. We're looking at uh, the Python challenge. Moving on to challenge number nine. Last one we were looking at eight. <laughs> that was uh, I was giving us a little picture of a bee and uh, giving us this hints to inflate uh, username and password. And we used the bzip uh, module bz2 in Python to to kind of clear that one up for us. <laughs> and looking back, I was laughing at it because well, well let's see. All right, let me get let me get to the page. I know it was uh, integrity. It's funny because it's a picture of a bee, bees, bzz, bzip, bzip too, bzz, bzz bees. <laughs> I just thought that was clever and witty and the best thing. So, all right, we're uh, we're on challenge number nine right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this one is giving us this picture of some trees and dots. And I don't know what to do. So, all right, let's uh, view a page source, do some investigation. Um, the title of the page is Connect the Dots. And I think that's the biggest hint that we're going to get, because <laughs> there's nothing else on the page. Connect the dots. Okay, well, I don't think it means these dots on the picture, because even if we did, it it would not... What do you think it would give us? Like... I don't think it would give us anything. <laughs> don't, that's not going to form a word. It's not going to form a picture. It's, I don't know. All right. Um, there's nothing else on the page other than the image. There's a little disclaimer to see the solution for the previous level. And the next big thing that I see is this comment, first plus second equals question mark. And first and second are these long lists of numbers. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of wondering if there's something we have to do with those. If we add them to add the two together, like first plus second, is it referring to, like, okay, every index of the first, add it to the index of the second, that sort of thing. That, that could give us numbers, or it could give us a new list, but what is the new list going to help us with? It's not going to, we're not going to be able to put a whole list in the URL bar. Um, and notice that the, the length of the first list is even longer than the length of the second list, so that's not going to do much for us either, if we were to, like, add them all together. We could, like, get the sum, okay, add everything together in this first list, add everything together in the second list, and then add those two numbers together. That's as if we were adding each individual number to each other in, you know, both of the lists. Let's... I feel like let's try that. We'll at least have some place to start. So, I'm just gonna copy this whole thing, get my text that are open, and I'll just say this variable is first, make an array for this thing, and second. Second. Copy. Array for this guy. So we can add them all together with the simple function in Python called sum. And if we add the sum of the first and the sum of the second, what do we get? It'll be a big number, but all right, let's, let's take this number. Maybe this is what we need to do. Uh, I'll just paste this here. No. <laughs> that's not a thing. Okay, that's not it. Um, um, title of the page is Connect the Dots. I really don't think we should be connecting these dots. That, The ones in the image just don't make sense to me. Especially, what, what are these guys doing? <laughs> it's Orion's belt over here. <laughs> Uh, but what else can we do? Alright. I'm thinking, like, you know, in the, what was it, the eighth tutorial? It was the seventh tutorial. Yeah, the seventh tutorial for oxygen, right? We didn't have uh, any hints, like, on the page. It just gave us an image, and it had these, like, blocks on it we parsed through with the image module. Because we were given an image, so that made sense. Do we have to do the same thing with this guy? Because, I mean, we're given an image, and it has a bunch of blocks. But, like, look at all these blocks. They're not different colors. They're not, it's not like we can get any 
text out of them or any character values. But we got all these numbers. And look at these numbers, because these are pretty large, like 304, 381. These are going to pass the... Uh, they're going to end up passing the 95 mark for, like, ASCII text. So these must mean, like, actual, like, pixel values. Like, I wonder if these are dots themselves. But what does it mean by first plus second? If you page source, first plus second equals question mark. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna import image. Because we're not gonna get anything out of this image, but I feel like we, if we had to connect dots, what if all of these numbers are dots? What if they are pixels? So, and first plus second just means that, okay, add first and second together. So all, all dots can equal first plus second. Now if I print all dots, is that going to get me what I want? Yeah, okay. It's so now 146, and it should end 136. Does it end 136? It does end 136. Okay. So now we have all of our dots. Um, I'd like to kind of be able to code fold this stuff, because these are really long lines. Okay. And now we got all of our dots, and we'll use our image module to connect these dots, I mean, if that's what they even are, on a new image. New image can equal image dot new. The type is going to be RGB, and it is going to need a size. How big is this one? Copy image. It's going to paint. Paint! Paste it in. Alright. 640 by 487. I don't think it's a little bit bigger than what it needs to be. That's it. Is it really that size? Yeah, it is. Wow. Alright, let's do 640 by 480. How about that? 640 480. Does that work? So now I have a new image. Do I have to close this thing? New image dot close. I honestly don't remember much of. Okay, no, I don't. I don't remember much of my image module tutorial stuff. I don't really remember a whole lot of what to do with it. But all right, so now we've got our new image. Um, I feel like what we can do is for we can loop through all these dots for i in range of the length of all these dots. So this way, I'm using I so we can index them. So like if I were to print out all dots I, like you would see, okay, now we have all these dots. And for a dot, for a pixel, you know, you need an X and Y coordinate. So I'm thinking the first value and then the next one, I don't know if we should be jumping between first and second like for X is represented in the first array and Y is represented in the second array, but that wouldn't make sense since first is longer than second. So I feel like the first value and then the next value is X and Y. So, okay, we need to supply a step value then because we're going to use I representing to this current one and then the next one representing Y value, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> so, using so we're stepping by two. And let's say x is equal dots, all dots, i, and y can equal all dots, i, plus 1. How does that make a little bit more sense? And what we'll do is we'll say new image, we can, we can put a pixel on our new image um, to, you know, like display a dot there, and then we can pretty much connect them that way. So put pixel x and y, and then we're done. Put pixel takes three arguments to give. What does it take? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hop online to look at my documentation. Image Python image put pixel. Put 
pixel. Color. It takes a color. Um, zero, 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 two, five, five. Oh, now I need to save it. New image dot save. I'm on my desktop right now, so hopefully it'll uh, image dot png. Go. Okay, right. The image is black by default, so black is not going to work for us. Let's go white two five five, two five five, two five five. Save this. Run it. Whoa. What is that? What is that? <laughs> um, is it a cow? Oh, cows don't have a. Uh, whoa, sorry, I'm using my touch screen right now. Cows don't have horns. Bulls have horns. Is it a bull? Is that seriously what I'm supposed to take from this bull? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, where is the page? Connect the dots. Bull. B U L L. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's seriously a bull! Okay, okay, we did it. There it is, guys. <laughs> so, okay, I mean, the way that we went about it was certainly not the way that I expected, but, nor did I expect the answer to be a bull. <laughs> but, <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, we added these first and second hints, like, big long lists together, get all the dots, and then we created a new image, and then we just, like, went through and parsed each of these dots as if they were pixels with their X and Y coordinates corresponding and next to each other. So we had to increment by two because we're adding this. We're looking at this index and then the next one. So we're going to have to skip over that next index. So that's why we're using that step of two in our loop. Um, and new image dot put pixel is what's going to put the pixel there. And we're using white because by default the image background is black. And uh, then we saved it, <laughs> and uh, then we opened it up, and it's a bull. So uh, there we are, guys. <laughs> Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial. I'll, uh, if you are liking the series, maybe like the video, maybe leave me a comment, maybe subscribe if you're feeling generous, but I mean, it's all up to you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.